No doubt you've heard a lot about the phase out of coal as Australia tries to reduce its emissions. But how do you actually decommission a coal fired power plant? It's not easy, and it's taken electricity giant AGL seven years to come up with a plan. Later this month, they'll be turning off the Liddell Power Station, which sits in the Hunter Valley region, and it's been operating for 52 years. There's three main stages to decommissioning a coal fired power plant. The first one is turning off the station, cleaning, and drying the equipment. This takes about six months to complete. Next, you take apart the power station. This includes the two giant columns that sit outside Liddell and the main structure itself. This takes about two years to do. The third and final step is levelling the site using crushed concrete and preparing it for its new life. In the case of Liddell, we're likely to see a low carbon industrial energy hub. So this means large batteries, solar, wind and hydro projects might pop up. But let's take a step back. How do you turn coal into electricity? In simple terms, coal-fired power stations produce electricity by burning coal in a boiler to produce steam. This steam is then spun in a generator which produces the electricity. The steam is then cooled and condensed back into water, pushed back into the boiler, and the whole process starts again. But the big question on everyone's lips is, will we still have power? Because Liddell has given the market seven years of notice, we've been able to prepare for the closure of that power plant. But as more and more coal-fired power stations switch off, experts say that we need to increase our investment in renewable energy projects. We need to almost double our current pace of investment to meet the government's targets of 82% renewables by 2030.